Alright, welcome back once again. It is now day 60. And, uh, stationed here on the outside of my home. Today's project, despite all the snow I went and gathered the last day, uh, will not be actually involving the snow. Um, I've run into an inventory issue and I'm starting to seriously run out of space. So today I will be building a a new inventory storage area because things are just getting crowded. Uh, you can see here I went back and gathered a little more snow uh, yesterday and <clears throat> increased my supply for the future build. So I've already see I'm not going north today. We're gonna go to the west. Or wait, I'm sorry, east. Uh, I've already started building, uh, clearing out some area. I set up some exterior walls. Uh, space-wise. Uh, that's why the lava was moved to the new spot this morning. Uh, I've dug out down below, which is why I need more storage. I'm amassing quite a bit of cobblestone and uh, see I've bottled up my little dungeon there and or cavernous areas. And so I need space for to hold everything. So I'm going to uh, work on that today. That's going to be today's goal. I'm going to clear out and uh, build up and set up some new storage units. Uh, I've chosen a music by uh, an artist called Thizan, or it might be uh, Thisan, or Thisan, or Tyson. I have no idea. Um, but I'm assuming it's Thizan since it's uh, the name of the album is uh, Latin in origin. I don't imagine it's San. It's by a San. Otherwise, it would be a Japanese name instead of a uh, a um, Latin name for the album. Uh, the dirt I've laid down here is to protect me from the snow above, but I'm still going to have to go edit things out and fix stuff. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I gotta make enough space so that I don't have to worry about storage again for quite some time. That's the goal. Uh, I really hate running out of space, uh, just in general on anything. Like, um, I bought a, uh, an external hard drive for my computer a few years ago. Uh, I think it was a few years ago. It might have just been one year ago. I, I can't really keep track of time too well since I don't, like, mark down days of when stuff happens. My years all sort of seem to roll together. And uh, I often have to think back and remember exactly what year I did what sometimes. <clears throat> Does that mean I'm getting old and I can't remember years anymore? Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, I was needing one because I used to be, I'm still an, a, a, an aficionado, a, a real anime enthusiast. And I, I watch, it's, it is my primary source of visual entertainment outside of video games. I, Yes, of course, video games are an interactive entertainment. They're not just watched entertainment. But um, as far as my visual sit there and watch it entertainment goes, uh, anime is the primary source. So I uh, I watch quite a bit. Um, I have no idea what my current total stands at, but I know a year ago I had like three months of consecutive time that had been consumed just watching anime uh, so I'm assuming I've got to be at least three and a third by now and, and I mean it takes quite a while I don't watch it as proficiently as I used to uh, but I do still consume quite a bit of anime viewing and for the longest time I was um, saving everything I watched like I would uh, I download them all from fan sub sites, and I was going around and I was, you know, archiving all the all the anime I watched. And for the longest time, I was burning it to disc, and because it was, you know, an efficient enough method of storage, and it worked well. I mean, I, I had amassed a mountain of DVDs. I have like 600 DVDs of anime. Um, Sadly, I don't still have them. Um, I let someone borrow my collection, and uh, uh, we sort of fell apart, and the fucker never had the decency to send it back to me. But uh, that's kind of the way some people are. So I lost quite a big supply of my discs, and that's okay. Uh, it was 
sort of after, I mean, I had been saving it for this individual. It's kind of like the reason I originally started saving anime instead of just watching it. Um, because, to be perfectly honest, I don't watch things more than once, usually. Uh, something has to be exceptionally fantastic to warrant a second viewing, in my opinion. And very few things are ever that amazing. Like, um, certain animes are just above par. They're just amazing stuff. It's like some movies. Like, I've seen Fight Club probably a dozen or times or more. And, you know, you see Star Wars several times. And you watch the Star Trek movies if you're into those. And it's just, there's certain things that are just awesome and enjoyable. You know, some comedies are worth viewing several times. Or your favorite romantic drama. Or, you know, those kind of things. And I love those kind of shows that are worth watching again and again. But few things, really, especially in today's media, are truly worth more than one viewing. So, what it is, I decided to quit storing my uh, anime media. So I suddenly found myself with this external drive that I uh, didn't really need like, um, I was, um, oh, shit. <laughs> right, that was not clever. <laughs> so I suddenly uh, found myself with this, you know, I've, I bought a terabyte uh, external, and it's the most memory I've ever had at any one time, period, to begin with. Like, I used to use multiple drives, and, um, in my computer, like I had a uh, a built computer, and it had three hard drives in it, and each one was an 80 gig drive, and I survived on that a long time, storing anime on one, storing music on another, storing my normal OS and other prop program data on you know the third drive, and um, that worked great for years. I would just burn off as I needed more space, and okay. Um, and, you know, it's just the way things went. And I finally upgraded to new P uh, this crappy machine I have now. I say upgrade. It is technically an upgrade because it is better than that one. But it's just because that one was, like, crazy old. And I'd had it a very long time when I got this one. Um, but I found the need for the... I, had, I wanted... Going to switch to digital mediums uh, instead of uh, disk, or I say it's all digital, to uh, just straight hard drive as storage instead of using um, instead of using DVDs all the time because oh I knew better than that <laughs> because you know it just they, you take up too much space with the discs. I mean, even if you store them in spindles, you still consume a massive amount of physical space for the, for the data. And considering most disks were all, you know, uh, five megabyte or 4.5 megabyte disks or megabyte gigabyte disks, you can only store so much data to start with, and it's just not efficient enough. So I uh, came up with the idea that I would just use. The external instead is storage, and it price per dollar it, or, or memory per dollar. It's the best option. Like I could get, you know, at the time it, they're cheaper now, but at the time I got my one gigabyte external for a hundred dollars, and the same amount of money would have not bought me a hundred gigabytes of, or I'm sorry, a thousand gigabytes because uh, it's only one terabyte drive. It would not have bought a thousand terabytes of DVDs. And plus with DVDs I have to worry about the wear and tear on my disk drive because uh, I've replaced several of those over the years because they wear out from the extreme use. And then you've got your occasional like duds in your DVD packs that just don't record properly and it's, it's a nightmare to deal with. And there's a storage, you got to buy the extra little like binders to hold it all and I'm such a organizational neat, organizational neat freak that I want to um, I want to, like, chronolog, uh, chronolog, uh, chronicle my, uh, my anime collection, and I'll set up, like, uh, databases for everything, and I'll, uh, set up, uh, 
I want to like create cover art to put on. I, I, I didn't never use printable discs, but you know, I can still print out you know images and slide it in a little DVD sleeve when I'm storing it. I mean, I'm just that kind of like organizational nut job that I like everything in its place. I'm a very mise en place kind of person, and uh, it was just it was too hectic. And if I could instead get this tiny little external drive that has a thousand gigabytes of information storage capability, well, a thousand whatever, I don't know exactly, it's like 963 or I have no idea, the conversions are weird from bits to bytes, and I don't like the marketing for that, but that's, you know, a rant for another day. Uh, so it was just, it made more s economical and space sense to switch to an external, that was the whole goal. So. I began downloading uh, anime. I was, you know, chronicling it and archiving it on the on the drive, and it worked good for a while. And then, like I said, that friendship fell apart the the uh, for the person I was actually saving this for because they were an anime enthusiast and they didn't get a chance to watch except for when we were visiting together. So that's why I was saving it all for them. And when suddenly I didn't need to do that anymore. It sort of freed my space up, and now I do keep anime still on that drive, but it's all transitory, like uh, you know, stuff that I'll use and then forget about, kind of thing. So it's it's a lot more user friendly as far for me to have that kind of access to my data versus. Cycling through mountains of, you know, DVD discs. Dark outside. Oh, the sun's coming up. Good. <laughs> Need to go out there and put in the uh, ceiling for the other half of the room. Um. So it just it makes more sense to do it now. So now I use my external purely for music storage to keep it off because I have you know an oftenly increasing supply and data has become so free-flowing now as far as price you know how much you can get and it's just now I you know get like pure flat lossless rips of music and it's just data out the ass and I, I still have a mountain of space I mean I've got uh, several PC games stored on there I've got several uh, I got several anime series and movies and it's just, you know, a terabyte is a massive amount of data. And it, it really does go a long ways. And I love it. So, it's, it's, I'm big on storage. Having space matters. Uh, space to accomplish your needs. Space to organize your thoughts. Space to just everything. Space is important. Uh, whether it's, you know, a minimalized or exuberant amount of space. I mean, it's all in how you organize it and how you, you utilize it and organize it. So, I, I, this is, you know, part of me today. Like, I'm making this new storage facility because I love to organize. Organization is key to how my brain works. And if I can't organize my thoughts, then I can't succeed in the things I want to do. It's like I certainly would never be able to accomplish half the stuff I set out to build or do if I haven't already formulated the plan in my head and it's just an organization process. To organize you need space. You gotta catalog and prioritize and everything has to flow properly. You have to have... You cannot... I, um, the, what is it? The, uh, it reminds me of the development process of invention or design is that form will follow function. And a lot of times in my life, my function will follow form. And I think it's because I'm an artist. I follow a different set of personal rules and I'll design, uh, I'll build function into my look instead of building, um, you know, my look into my, you know, purpose of what it's doing. 
And I guess that's, you know, from having an, I mean, I don't have an analytical thought pattern. I don't relate to, you know, the normal way of thinking for things and people in general. It's just not how I, my brain works. So I have to have that extra step, that extra, what would you call it, that extra... I don't know, it's almost like I would call it labeling, like I have to label my uh, thought process. Like if it doesn't have a package deal about how everything fits together, I don't quite comprehend how things are supposed to work. I don't know, does that make any sense at all? Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm a stickler for order, which is funny because I, I really do enjoy chaos in its own right, like chaos for chaos sake, it's just, it's important to me to have that, that escape, that unbalance sometimes, and it's very contradictory with how I like to live, so it's just, it's kind of curious in a way, as to why I would choose to live one way, but embrace a totally different ideology of uh, what I like to think about and how I like to do things. I guess I'm just one of those uh, back asswards kind of people. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm partially dyslexic. It just follows in the same kind of switch it around kind of scenario. <clears throat> Thirsty. I don't know if the mic's picking that up or not. I'm drinking out of a uh, straw. So. Organization is key to your personal life, but chaos is more fun in your entertainment. <laughs> Let's see, I need to put in the floor here. I'm uh, putting down a half block floor in here because I want to, well, I just like the look of it for one, <laughs> but uh, since I'm not going to have like torches in the middle of the room, uh, it'll also help, it, mobs cannot spawn on half block steps or glass, so it'll prevent that at least and save me a little headache, uh, because I'm not sure, I mean, even with all the torches around this whole area, because it's, you know, still got the center area, something may still spawn right in the middle, like, I don't know exactly what the distances are, I think it's something like seven or eight blocks or something from a torch, but, so it should be fine, but, plus it also gives a little lip edge underneath the, uh, the chest, and I like that little extra half step block distance. It just has a neat, cleaner appearance to it, so... I need another... another... I'm all out of smooth stone. Or, well, I'm out of it in my personal supply right here. I'm gonna go grab some more out of the box. As you can see, I'm just like overloaded with cobblestone. And it's only gonna get worse as time goes on, which is... You know, like I said, the primary motivation is I wanna just, you know, cut it off before things get ahead of myself. I end up with a mountain of storage doors. Okay, so now I need to do the roof and the last bit of the exterior walls here, which means I'll have to go outside to do them. Because it's just gonna, there's water out there and it's just gonna pile in on me. I don't need sand on my head. I'll just wing it. <laughs> Organization my ass! No. <laughs> It's like, um, I got a friend of mine that, uh, we're both music enthusiasts, and I, uh, go off sometimes about how I like to organize the, uh, the ID tags of my music. Um, for those that aren't familiar, like, when you plug a, you know, uh, an MP3 into, you know, Windows Media Player or Winamp or whatever your, you know, music player of choice is, 
um, the software for that player reads the ID tag information, whether it's an ID tag 2, ID tag 3, or whatever. Everything's got its own little reference variables. But the ID tags are what tells you, you know, who the artist is, what the song t track title is. Um, it covers... In my, in my, uh, uh, track length duration, bit rate, comments. You can put lyrics in there, uh, which are handy if you've got a program that can do like karaoke. It can pull that off. Um, uh, it's I mean, you just every information about your uh, music is stored on those that information that disc on, on in your ID tags. So, oh, son of a, I messed up. Up, oh, up, oh, get up there. Stupid water. <sighs> I gotta put those torches back. All right, um, oh, that's right. Oh, wait, ID tags. Right, block and a half. Can't jump up there. Um, so I'm always like griping because. Uh, as, you know, everyone that knows me knows, I, I, I don't always get my uh, music in the most legal manner as possible. Uh, not that I endorse not buying music, but it's just a, um, for me it comes from like a social, whatever, I'm not going to get into my reasonings today, <laughs> especially not on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> if you want to talk to me about my reasonings because you don't know them, feel free to message me. Uh, but needless to say, I, uh, I, even when, you know, it's music you're ripping from your own CDs, your ID tags are empty, uh, to start with. You have to put the information in. They don't just come that way unless you, like, buy it off iTunes, or, uh, you get it from, like, uh, the music I get off Jamendo is, you know, uploaded by artists, and it's already, you know, ID, ID tag compatible. It's already been programmed in, which is great. Because uh, it saves you the step of having to do it yourself, and uh, that matters a lot to me as a as a uh, enthusiast of music to have that option, that functionality. Uh, it's just recording it, and because I mean, your album cover—it's just—it's one more th step towards organization. And like I said, I, I just think things should flow the way they're supposed to flow. And lack of organization just means you're doing it wrong. <laughs> In my mind, you're doing it wrong. So, let's see here. Awesome. Uh, so, like, um, I don't know, you get a lot of music off the internet that doesn't have its ID tags, or what's worse is you'll get some, like, total asinine moron that'll, like, encode the most bizarre format to their ID tags. Because, like, most music ripping software gives you the option to encode an ID tag while you're doing it. Like, um, say you're going to, you know, take your favorite uh, soundtrack album or artist album or whatever, you're just going to encode some music and you get the option of declaring the artist and then the, you know, the music genre and some people do it and do it right. Uh, they, uh, you know, they check out the actual artist definitions of their own music genre. I, I, you know, I can't stand to have mislabeled stuff. Like, I try to generalize my genres, but I found that's not always practical in some scenarios, because some stuff just sort of defies labeling sometimes, and especially when you listen to some really eclectic stuff. And it just doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, what It's like some sort of rap soul fusion hybrid dubstep kind of stuff. I have no idea. This stuff that just doesn't match to anything at all. And uh, so, but it's just one of those things, like it's another layer of organization. Like why couldn't 
if you're going to take the effort to rip music off a CD to begin with, I don't mean rip off, I mean like rip it to a different format, to re-encode it. Uh, <laughs> why not, you know, I've never seen a software that does that, that doesn't offer you the option to also encode your ID tags. So it's like, why would you skip that step? I mean, are you, do you just like having random files? I mean, if people like go, I've downloaded music before, and instead of having a track title listings, it would say track one. <laughs> and it, it's like, it, there's no ar artist, there's no album, it just says track one. And if that gets lost in your computer, you would never friggin' know what it was unless you recognize the music. And it's just, you could never find it if you were looking for it. I mean, it would just be redundantly ridiculous trying to, uh, you know, get things the way you want it. And I, I wouldn't be able to stand that. That would drive me bonkers. You know, the complete lack of organization. I couldn't deal with it. It's like, what's wrong with you? Like, your, your brain's missing a step or something. I had a uh, old roommate of mine who uh, was, like, I, uh, I download quite a bit of stuff off the internet, but this dude is, like, notorious. He would just, he would get mountains of data. I'm talking 300 gigabytes a day kind of notorious amounts of data. And it was just off the wall, the amount of information this guy would accumulate. And uh, I originally got my whole DVD burning practice ideas from him, because he had, like, my collection was pretty massive, but he's literally got over a hundred thousand by now, I would imagine. He just, it's just insane. And it's just, <laughs> but he would get stuff from anyone and everyone, and there would be so many weird mismatched stuff, he wouldn't check for quality, he would just download and download, and I think he just had, like, a hoarding obsession with downloading stuff. <laughs> like, those people, they just, like, collect random newspapers, kind of hoarding obsession. So, it was, it was, it was kind of ridiculous to, uh, <laughs> to be around sometimes. Uh, but, uh, yeah... Seems I forgot about that side. Hmm. See how quick I was there? The freaking sand didn't even fall down. So, anyway, like I said, organization. If you can uh, master your stuff, you can master yourself. I don't know if, that, if, that's, if that's even a saying, but, you know, a cluttered life can lead to a cluttered individual, you know. Uh, not that there's something wrong with having stuff, you know, like I said before, I'm a, a, a big fan of having stuff, but you, even when you have lots of stuff, it still should have a place and not just be random assortments of <laughs> excessive stuff. I sneeze, I swear to God, I know it, I feel it, nope, ah, uh, <laughs> so, don't ever, don't, like, you know, overdo your stuff, like, don't let your stuff control you, it's your stuff, put it in order, make it yours, own it, that way it'll be yours forever, and, uh, you won't ever get, like, I, I couldn't understand, I, my old roommate, he would just, he had all that stuff, and there was like no organization, and it would take him minutes to hours to find some things, and I'm like, dude, you're just going about this the wrong way, you gotta have a system, you gotta, you know, archive and chronicle things properly, everything's gotta have an order to it, because there's nothing worse than not being able to find what you want, I mean, imagine if people were like that, like you couldn't find your friends because... You don't know where you put them. It's like, God, I know, I know, I know, I know. Bob needs to be fed today. But where did I leave him? <sighs> you know, it's like trying to find your dog in a mountain of dogs, and they all kind of look the same and sound kind of the same, but only one is your dog. 
but you can't find him because you didn't bother to label him. If only you'd put that collar with a name on there, you could find him, but no. You had to be that douche to just let him run wild. <laughs> so. Let's see. So, finally, the last step of any proper organization. Oops, I need that. Is, of course, labeling. I love signs. Uh, I don't like the model for these. The default model is kind of boring. I like the models that make them look like they're, uh, uh, like got paper on them so they're a little easier to read. There we go. Uh, and of course, you know, these are, let's put them on blank. You can pop one off, put it back on, and then, you know, type in cobblestone. Enter. There you go. Cobblestone. So those two will hold cobblestone. Eventually that whole corner is probably going to hold cobblestone, but, you know, you end up with a lot of it. Cobblestone and dirt, the two most common things you'll end up with. And or sand, depending on how much glass or sandstone you build or use. So, but I'm going to make a door and that will be it. This will be the end of today's really long video. Uh, hopefully YouTube won't yell at me too much for having such a long video. I know they did last time, so that'll be it. I will see you next time. Goodbye, and uh, hope you uh, found this entertaining.